I like my bronze statue and I like the ballroom and I've been honored way honored beyond my expectations. Even Lee Robertson is amazed at how his life turned out. I wasn't a very good high school student and I wasn't a very good college student, but I managed to get through all of them. The native of Calhoun, Kentucky says he had no idea what he would do after high school, but it turns out plans were made for him. Six months later, Pearl Harbor was bombed. Six months later, I was in the service. With beachhead landings in New Guinea, Moratai, and the Philippines, Lee recalls his three years of service in the U.S. Army with great detail. When his time ended in December of 1945, he finally arrived home on an icy Christmas morning. There was ice on our porch and I nearly fell down. I come near getting killed on my front porch than I did in New Guinea. College was never something Lee thought he could afford. That is, until a friend mentioned the GI Bill. The very next day, the two drove to Bowling Green to sign up. After graduating from Western in 1950, Lee was working as a teacher and coach in Park City when he crossed paths with a former neighbor while living back in Calhoun for his summer job. And I said, who in the world is that? I, that little old gal next door, my neighbor, I went down there and checked and it was Joyce. After they married in 1953, the couple moved back to Barron County before landing at WKU in 1960 when Lee was named Director of Alumni. We had one alumni club as in Muhlenberg County. Six years later, we had 52. He held that position for 25 years, but didn't stay retired long. Dubbed Mr. Western by former President Gary Ransdell, that's a title I'm really proud of. He served in numerous roles, including the job he still has to this day in philanthropy and alumni engagement. Something about the job just fit me. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.